All right, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Akame Ga Kill, episode 11, Kill the Mad Scientist. Okay, I was highly, highly freaked out by this episode, but of course this episode picks up where the last one I thought that they were having like a homecoming party for saving top to me, and they were all like knocked out, Leonie went outside and got sideswiped. So... This is when the epic battle ensues. Doctor, I'm going to call him Dr. Stylish. I believe that's what everybody else calls him. Anyways, Dr. Stylish has launched an attack on Night Raid's hideout. And Dr. Stylish, of course, he is one of Esdeath's new cronies. And he was able to find Night Raid's hide out by following Tatsumi, Akame, and Lubbock. So, he launched an attack and he is a very, very creepy man. He has a lot of human experiments that he has done numerous amounts of things to and they are very agile and rugged. I'll use his word, rugged. And they should not be treated as normal humans and of course, Night Raid did not know this, so they were fighting them like they were regular humans, and of course, Lubbock. Lubbock is pretty freaking awesome, and his Imperial Arms is pretty awesome if you know how to use it, and he knows how to use it very well, and he was fighting one of them, and he literally, like, snapped his neck and turned his head literally all the way around, and the dude was still alive. So, after all of that, Lubbock tried to take him out, and he took him out, and then they, he was got... He got attacked by more. Akame came in and saved his ass. Took all of them out with her and Murasame. And then she got attacked. She took him out and Lubbock helped her. And then they went outside and Tatsumi and mine were being attacked. Well, Tatsumi was being attacked. Mine saved his ass and got Shele's Imperial Arm back because the man who was attacking Tatsumi had Shele's Imperial Arm. <clears throat> so after they well, after mine literally disintegrated him, she got Shayla's Imperial Arm back and started crying. She was like, welcome home, Shayla. Talked to me, was happy. Mine was happy. They all, well, then mine almost got attacked by the same person who attacked Leone at the beginning. And Leone literally came out of nowhere and strangled him half to death and then destroyed him. And Shayla, I mean, and mine and talked to me were confused and then they found out that he had attacked Leone and Leone was okay now because she transformed she was able to heal faster so Leone saved the day because mine was about to get taken out by this creeper that was stalking her and said she was a pretty pretty girl anyways so they're all they all finally got back together we got surrounded by more drones and literally he just falls out of the sky oh yeah they also saw that Nagenda was on a danger beast which is a an air manta which is so fucking awesome oh my god i was not ready for that it's a freaking air manta it's a manta ray that can fly which i would love one of those two and talk to me was like i want one she rides in on this badass thing or whatever i would want one too shit i mean don't have to pay for gas but anyways so they get surrounded. The agenda un unveils one of the new people that are going to be in Night Raid. He takes out everybody and Dr. Stylish tries to kill him. And then we find out that Susano is a human Imperial Arms, which is so, like, awe-striking. But Susano is going to be pretty fucking dope because he, like I said, he is a human Imperial Arms. So... He can do things that normal humans can't, and the fact that he's in Imperial Arms, he's pretty much indestructible. They think Dr. Stylus tried to blow him up, and he drew his body parts back. So, Susano is going to be a great help to um, Night Raid. Now, they don't have to worry about him dying. As I said, that was the first thing I thought about, but they don't have to worry about him dying, which is awesome. So, Susano is now part. He helped them out, and then, of all things, I find out that Susano is going to be one of those characters... That is probably OCD because he walked up to mine and mine was like, what do you want? And he fixed her hair for her. He's like, really? You just did all of that and then that's that's what you do? Okie doke. 
anyways so after all of that they of course have to fight dr stylish um the agenda figures out where they are hiding and i will say i was really i was kind of sad that he like consumed the girl with the really big ears because i thought she was kind of awesome but dr stylish was found susano went after them and he tried to run away and then of course they realized that they weren't going to get away so he morphed himself into this huge like titan sized person <laughs> but he kind of looked like ugo from maggie when they first showed ugo and his head was still like inside of the flute but he he doctor's house is just a freaking creep but he consumed the girl with the big ears and then they he was trying to well susano was trying to fight him he susano realized that this dude is going to be really hard to beat so then of course tatsumi and akame came to the rescue and they were going to help him so they worked together Susano blocked for them and Akame got in close enough to take out Dr. Stylish. And Dr. Stylish, there were so he was like, there's so many human experiments that I still wanted to do, blah blah blah, and then he died. So that was the end of that. We also the face of the new Night Raid member was revealed to I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but she looks very similar to Suryu. I don't know if that's a thing or what, but she looked very similar to Sir Yumi. I don't know why, but that was pretty much the end of the episode. So, yay! So nobody, technically, nobody knows where Night Raid's hideout is because I think Dr. Stylish was the only one who knew. But they will probably, I would say that they might move somewhere else, considering that other people in Jaeger might know where they are hiding now. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm just rambling now. So. As always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode. Like, how do you feel about how things went on? How do you feel about Susano? Who do you think that the new person is that's going to be a night raid? But, as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.